And I'm back, because I lied. Um, I am going to do another stream, um, because I'm transferring this, which is my wine, into this, which is going to be my vinegar. And I actually kind of already did some, so I'm going to show that real quick um, with a tap on. Uh, but this is the, uh, the jar that I've got going, which is going to have our future vinegar in it. It came from another jar of wine that I made um, that uh, I was just going to pour off, off camera, which is what I was doing. Um, and then I was like, you know what, i got a little bit left here of this wine that I'm going to use to finish this, and then I'm going to pour the mother in it, and then cap this off so I can turn it into vinegar, and then just save whatever's left here to show, to show off to people. people. But, but, uh, and then I was like, let's do it on camera, because my video is about making booze are way more popular, popular than anything I do with spices. Um, um, so, so, that said, said um, I'm going to finish, finish doing, doing this. this. So, like, like I said, this is basically wine. wine. Um, I've, I've tried, tried it now. I'm slightly, I wouldn't say buzzed, but I can definitely feel it. Um, I, drank I drank some, some of it. Um, it, it tastes, tastes like the grape juice, juice I made, except, except all the sweetness, sweetness is gone. gone. Um, that's, that's because the yeast that I put, I put in it, which was champagne yeast, ate all the sugar and turned it into booze. I don't know how, how strong the booze it is, um, and I'm not, not really going to know how strong of vinegar this is, because I'm not that fancy. But it's definitely definitely done its job. I mean, you can see it down there on the bottom, which isn't going to show on camera. So, so what, what I'm going to do, do is take, take this and then move it into a new jar. jar. Um, I think you could probably do it in the same jar, but it's just to keep different bacteria out. Because uh, uh, this, this bacteria in here, what it does is take sugar and turn it into alcohol. And then, and then I'm going to induce this bacteria down here, which, which comes from, from a bottom of raw vinegar, vinegar that I bought at a farmer's market. Put it in here. And what, and what that, that bacteria, bacteria does is it eats ethanol, um, the stuff that makes you drunk, drunk and turns it into acetic acid, acid which is the stuff that's sour in vinegar. vinegar. So, so vinegar is basically sour, sour alcohol products. products. Um, that's, that's actually why uh, hops was a thing, um, or why Indian, Indian pale ale was a thing, is that uh, over long distances transporting ale to India. India uh, they tended, tended to go, go bad because of the barrels that they were in, because, because of the heat and all sorts of things. Thing. So it would so come, come out sour at the end, end um, which is what happens when alcohol goes, goes bad. Um, the hops were basically, basically meant to mask that. that. Um, they, they didn't prevent it, it. Um, but, but they made it taste less awful. So, so anyways, anyways um, that said, said stop, stop talking and just do this. So let's take this off. So what this is, is it's just a coffee filter. Um, its, its primary, primary purpose is to keep flies out, because um, fruit flies will be attracted to this. Um, you'll see them sitting, sitting on the top. top. Uh, but, but allow air, air in, in um, because, because as it's converting sugar into ethanol, it's producing CO2 in that, in that process. process. And so if, if you don't, don't do that, that it'll blow up, up. Um, which is what you don't, don't want. want. So, so um, it's, it's mostly finished, finished with its production of alcohol, so that's why we're transferring it. It's been about a week, and if I wanted to be, like, good and fancy about this, I would take a siphon, and then I would just, like, suck, you know, this stuff out, and then put it into here, um, and I'll show you in a bit why that is. Um, there's, like, kind of a yeast layer down here um, that we don't want to carry over. I'm just going to tip it in, especially since we're almost filled up. And then, yeah, I want a full, full quart for the vinegar. There we go. Okay, so now I have one quart of wine made from table breaks of all things. It's kind of hard to tell. Sure, I'll go with that. I want a little bit of space, so that's good. You know what, I'm just going to put a little bit more. No, you, you know, know what? what? I, I gotta, gotta put the vinegar in. And, and then, then I've got, got this vinegar here. So um, I'm, I'm trying to get as much of the mother off of the bottom, but I've been shaking it around. It should have a good amount of those guys floating around in here. And so all I'm gonna do is just take this and kind of introduce it and say, like, here's your new home. Um, and it's gonna add some of that carrot turmeric flavor 
uh, and then start eating the ethanol, and then it's going to turn this into vinegar. You know what I can do, actually. I forgot to do that. This is why I have a chopstick. Is, uh, Okay, so, so just, just to, to make sure, I got, got a big chunk of that mother, and I just put it on the end of this chopstick here. Yep. And, and it's, it's a very precise, precise science. science. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I mean that, that should eventually turn into its basically its own mother. So the more you get in there at first, the faster it's gonna kind of set in. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, and now I've completed the second stage of the process, which is to turn this <coughs> into vinegar, wine into vinegar. So we're just gonna put this cap right back on. There we go. go. Um, and, and this, this is just going to go right back on the counter and then sit there for a week, two weeks, however long we need, and then I'll probably transfer it out um, or make more vinegar with it or do whatever. Um, but yeah, in about a week, I imagine I'll probably do another video on just this, um, showing what that looks like. I'm going to put this rubber band on it too, which is just there to keep the fruit flies from like sneaking underneath because apparently they can fit in very, very small spaces. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, so that's that. that. Um, this, this is going to become wine, which, I mean, it is wine. And yeah, so, so now I can actually show you, like, that is the yeast just sitting there on the bottom, chilling out. Everything else is wine. Um, it should be, it, it does taste pretty dry, so I think it's running out of sugar to use. Um, it's not very good. Because, because I, I used table grapes, grapes to do it, um, and, and also do it, it, did it in a mason jar on my kitchen counter. Um, if, if you actually try, you can make some pretty good stuff. stuff. But um, this, this was to make vinegar, so I wasn't trying very hard. hard. Um, which, which probably means it's not going to be that great vinegar. But um, the short of it is, it's not super hard to make booze. Um, and then, yeah. So, okay, so I'm not going to do a long out, because I, I did that in the last video. Um, and I did want to do a shorter one. Um, because as, as I, I said, said, I think the videos about, about me making booze are a lot more popular than the ones about me making spices. So I just want to do a separate one, even if it's literally like me just taking one thing and putting it in the other. So uh, for anyone watching, watching, thanks for checking it out. Um, I hope you follow me on my quest to make more uh, ingredients for hot dogs to eventually make hot dogs sometime down the line. So um, I, I'm also planning on streaming some other stuff. stuff. Of me just making food from the raw ingredient short of actually harvesting them. So, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for checking it out and have a good night.